I read the autopsy report. Sit down, please. Your baby died of RH disease. Oh, no. Uh, we, we thought that, too, but when Cole was in the hospital, we found out that we're both RH negative. You are? Yeah, so it couldn't have been RH. Right. I know that this is hard to talk about, but oftentimes autopsy reports list secondary causes of death. But there weren't any. Michael already checked. So you don't know why your baby died? That's why Star and I try to have Hope's DNA tested. With a lock of her hair, but... But they said that it wasn't her hair. What? After Hope died, Dr. Joplin gave me a lock of her hair, but it must have been someone else's baby's. Well, that doesn't make sense. Why would she do that? Uh, and now Dr. Joplin's dead. You know, it's, it's just all a big mess. You know, nothing's adding up. And we know it's not going to change anything. We just really want to know what happened to her. And that's why we came to you. What are you asking? Part of the reason why I did all those pills is because I didn't want to have to deal with all this. But now I know I have to face it. I know I have to live a different kind of life. So I don't do what I did to Matthew to someone else. Now that means I need some answers. So can you help us get an official okay to have Hope's body exhumed? Have you spoken to Marcy about this? Yes, and she's okay with it. So is Michael. Yeah, he, he already talked to the coroner's office about it. But getting permission to open up a grave, I mean, that, that can take a while, right? Yes, it can. If you don't have someone to walk it through the bureaucracy. Okay, well, we, 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 we were hoping that that person could be you. I know. Who am I to be asking you for a favor? I know I haven't earned it but you know, star she she hasn't done anything to anyone so so, so please for, for her sake will, will you help us out yeah sure I'll help. you'll do this you'll, you'll really help us if you two are sure you want to go through with this yeah uh yeah we are okay then Thank you so, so much. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what to say. You already did. I'll get on it right away. And I know that you're really busy, but... As I, soon as I find out anything, I'm going to let you know. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, just one more thing. You haven't heard from my mom or John yet, have you? No. Afraid not. Thanks. Cole, could I have a word with you? Yeah, just let me say goodbye to Star, please. Hey. Couldn't have done this without you. We're a team. Maybe now we can get some answers. I'll see you later. It took a lot of guts for you to come here today. Yeah? Yeah, you should be proud of yourself. I hope that your recovery is going well. I'm really happy that it is. One day at a time, right? Right. That's right. It certainly can't be easy with your mom gone. Oh, yeah, I talked to her today. She, uh, she, she sounds all right. I just wish I knew for sure that she was. Oh, you know, John's with her, so you know him. He's got a be locked up, tied down, and half dead before he'd let anything happen to Marty. Listen, Carl, I, I think forgiveness will be a long time coming, but I, I am proud of you. It did take guts for you to come here. I'm glad it did. Yeah. And I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for the pain that you and Star are going through. I mean, it's painful enough to lose a child, but then not knowing why, it just, it's the worst. Thank you.
Mason, this is ten messages. What's going on? I was freaking out. I thought your dad was, like, keeping you at his house or something. No, oh, believe it or not, we worked everything out. But what is wrong with you? No, nothing. Ten messages. I, I, I was really worried. and I never get to see you. Stuff's been going on. But anyway, what's going on with you? Mason, I think you should go first. Okay, are you ready for this? What? After prom, Marco and I, we're gonna go all the way. Not if I have anything to say about it.